All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is a quick video. I uh, so I've been I commissioned this uh, this mod, the 1978 Dome Zero. Uh, I'll give you a little look at this thing real quick. This thing is basically my dream car. I I've been I've been uh, you know dreaming about driving this car, even seeing it in person for a good 15 years now since I first saw it in, in Sega GT 2002 on the Xbox, and. Uh, so I found a 3D model of this thing, and I had uh, I had a modder, uh, the, the guys at RTM, uh, I commissioned them to, to put this in the game, and it looks like so far they did a hell of a job. Now, you know, it, it has rigged headlights, I don't think the doors are rigged, but who cares, uh, the wiper works, uh, fully working interior, including the digital dash, which you'll see in a minute, and... Uh, so a little backstory on this car. This was a so Dome in in Japan they basically build race cars, and in the 70s they wanted to go race at Le Mans, and in order to do that they had to build a homologated uh, car for the street. They built this, and the Japanese government flat out said no, you're not building this car. It wasn't anything crazy. It's you know it's a 2.8 out of a out of a Datsun and a and I think the same transmission, um, just put in the back of the car, and yeah, there's no crazy th stuff here, it's just aluminum monocoque, and uh, the Japanese government was only interested in building, you know, practical cars, not so much this, this cheese wedge of a vehicle, which is fully functional, the actual concept car is fully functional, and, you know, and it fell into obscurity until the early... 2000s, where it found its way into, I believe, three major games. There was uh, Sega GT 2002, uh, Gran Turismo 4, and Auto Modelista, I believe. I, I'm not 100% sure. I never played that one. But, um, yeah, it's not a fast car. It's not anything really special, but it was, like, special to me to see this car for the first time in... in Sega GT as like the the ultimate car to get you know and it it's always it's just stuck with me and I have I have a scale model of the thing set right up here let me pull this off just trust me it's a dome zero let's see if I can turn the light off hold on. You know, and I've been trying to buy the steering wheel that comes in this car, which they did sell. And, uh, well, without further ado, let's get to the actual drive driving of this thing. I, I haven't driven it yet, but... I haven't driven it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. And if it's not, I could always fix it. I've been messing around with some mods, so... Take this thing around the Nürburgring, just give, like, my first impressions of it. Sorry about the lighting in here. I had to set this up. It's it's uh, Labor Day weekend, and I was about to go out, and then I got the email that this thing was done. So, um, and I don't know if I have the right to release it. It's not. It, it's my mod, but it's not a. Oh, I got the weather on. Son of a bitch. Uh, it it's not my mod, but it to release. I should say I didn't, you know, uh, create this. I just commissioned it, so I'm not I'm not sure if I'm allowed to just, you know, give this to anybody I want. You know, obviously I'll share this with friends if they want it, but I mean, I doubt they will. Um, I'll message the uh, the guys and see if it's okay for me to release it, because I don't care. It costs me a good amount of money to get it made, but I'm not looking to make money on this. But, uh, alright, let's give this thing a shot. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this! Oh, I love it! Oh, that's a cool camera. Hell yeah! Alright, let's get to the interior. <laughs> Just as I figured, though, the steering rack's probably really slow in this car, which... ...wouldn't surprise me. Oh, this gauge cluster is so cool, man! Oh, that's so cool.
It's really weird how the, the A pillar is like right in your face. This must be really awkward to wear a helmet in. Oh, man. Brakes are good. This car is really slow. I, I, I'm actually I'm, 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 like surprised how slow it is. For how it looks. You know, it looks like a spaceship, but... You know, it's... It's probably like like naturally aspirated AW11 levels of, of quick, which it handles good. I, I it turns in pretty well. It understeers a bit, which is probably due to the uh, the crazy uh, um, not offset. What would you call it? Where you have um, wow, look at this thing. It rotates beautifully. Um, I forget what you call it. Where you have a, the rear is bigger than the front or wider than the front. Oh my god, it rotates under throttle coming out of the corner. It's just so cool and easy to plant. Look at this thing. I can get the back end to step out at any point I want. Oh, I'm taking some pictures with this thing. This is drive so good. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> this is better than I thought it was going to be. Because sometimes when you get these mods done, especially this quickly, this was done in, in five days. Usually, it, it, they they drive like crap, or they're just, they're just made to be, you know, have pictures taken of them. They're not made to, to be driven around a track. This one, this feels really, really good. I wonder if it's based on anything, because from what I was looking up, I couldn't find any real pictures of the the, the front suspension. I could, I could find pictures of the rear, and, you know, typical race car stuff, you know, uh, double wishbone, coilovers, but, wow. You know, the lack of arrow, really, <laughs> you can feel it. I bet this is what a Countach would drive like if it had a four-cylinder. Oh, my God. Well, this lack of power steering is kind of a bit, uh... <laughs> I need a bigger wheel. I wish I could, I could find... So, uh, like what I was saying is that Dome, or Domu, as you'd pronounce it in Japanese, uh, butchering that... Um, they produce racing equipment, they make steering wheels. You can actually see, you can find their steering wheels on uh, Japan auctions, on Yahoo Japan auctions, um, every so often. But I want to find this specific fucking day, and I'm around. Okay, wow. Makes a Porsche look like, let's see if I can do a reverse 180 here. Probably the wrong place to do this. Yep, no. <laughs> Alright, it's okay. I'm not going for a lap time, I'll do that later. But... Yeah, this, so you can you can buy this steering wheel. I've only seen one. A guy on Jalopnik had this... had this specific steering wheel. Uh, with the green triangles on the bottom, and the green base. Now... I've only been able to find the orange one. If I could ever find, or if anybody knows any, anyone, if anybody even watches this video, um, anybody who's selling the green version of this wheel, I'll buy it. I'll buy it, and I'll use it on this. Gladly. Wow, this is mm, kind of tough in this section here. I might have to turn down the force feedback multiplier for this specific car. But it drives, like, really, really well. It's just when you get past a certain fucking point, it just... The steering is so heavy. <laughs> Alright, first, it's not a good idea with this car. But that's cool that how, the, how, the, how the gauge cluster works. Up. I wasn't... I was discussing with Alex, the guy who, who did this. Um... I was never able to find a good shot of the gauge cluster, and he, he sent me one, and I, I you know, I've, I've seen the interior be, the, before, but I've never noticed, you know, like I've seen the buttons on the right side, I've just never seen the gauge cluster itself lit up, and it's cool to see two, two bars side by side, you know, one showing the top half showing miles per, uh, kilometers per hour, and the bottom half showing uh, the RPMs. 
Wow, the brakes are 70s. Should probably downshift it there, but whatever. Um, it's not fast. It sounds like a straight six. Whoa. That's kind of strange, but okay. I'll mess with the cameras later. This is just the first impressions, you know? It's not meant to be a lap time. It's not meant to be... Um... I'm not, I'm not setting records here. I'm just... This is as I'm driving the car. I got a, I got an email. I quickly threw, you know, all my stuff on my computer here. Slid my, my rig over and... I'm glad I did, because this is awesome. This is awesome. Uh, I, I gotta see if somebody can port over some of the Sega GT 2002 tracks. <laughs> Which would be interesting. I mean, I, I, I bet they're in formats that nobody knows how to read, and nobody cares to even try to, you know, convert anything like that. If, um, if anybody's seen my account on uh, Forza Central back in the day, every single time there was a Forza coming out for the past, you know, say, 15 years, I've been requesting this car over and over again, like your top, your top five dream cars for the game. This was always number one. And it's not like it's a particularly fast car, definitely not a popular one. I'm sure people who, you know, played those games definitely know this car. You know, more so Sega GT than, than Gran Turismo 4. Um, it's also, by the way, this car is also in Gran Turismo PSP 5 and 6, um, but, but in 5 and 6 it's a standard car, in PSP I'm not sure um, how you obtain that in that game. It's maybe just, you know, a, probably a uh, prize car or something. Woo! Woo! Okay! Okay! Oh, I gotta pay attention every time I lift off the throttle. Okay. Yeah, this thing drives like an older Porsche on shit tires. Uh, not in a, in a bad way, but like, on like a, it slides and, you know, you gotta really pay attention way. It moves. It's manageable. It just moves. Never downshifted here before. The brakes are just pretty awful, but I mean, it's got small wheels. I think they're 14s. So, it doesn't surprise me. Cars from the 70s. Nothing had good brakes back then. You didn't have good brakes till the 90s. Like, the 80s is when you started having cars that were decent. I mean, I got a 97 Miata, and that thing, stock, the brakes are shit. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, good brake pedal feel, but the car doesn't stop. The only thing helping it is that it's light, and that's about it. And that's probably what's going on here. But, you know, you, 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 try, you try a couple heavy stops in this thing, and I, I guarantee you the, you, you'll cook the pads. You'll warp the rotors. Drives good on the limit, though, man. Oh. Whoa, I spun out and I'm about to do a sub... I'm still about to do a, a, a almost a sub nine minute? That's fucking crazy. That's that's pretty crazy. I mean, if I didn't spin, I'd probably be under, under nine minutes. That's quick. I did, that is not slow. This car feels a little slower than it is, probably because it's such a smooth, flat power band. You know, it's a hundred and what forty horsepower or something like that. So it's not really anything crazy. You know, I'm gonna look up what the the power was uh, fully modified in Sega GT 2002. I think it was like five hundred horsepower. I'm gonna try making that. All right, nine twenty-three. This thing is wow. Headlights work? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man, this is great. I'm so glad I requested this. E-brake works. He's not moving his hand though, which is kind of stupid. But oh yeah, the weir the weirdest thing. The e-brake is a big like. It looks like just a, a big box that you're just pulling. It's it's the dumbest, the absolute dumbest thing. I'll go in the showroom. But, uh, nah, never mind. I'm just gonna end the video. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, I, I'm, 
I'm sorry it wasn't like anything more exciting. This is just something that I wanted to do. I, I've always wanted to drive this car, especially around the Nürburgring. Oh, look at this thing, man. This is so cool. I just love everything about this car. I, I, it's just... I know I'm the only one who cares, but, you know. Figured I'd share it with anybody else who does. Anyway, uh... Have a happy, uh... Labor Day weekend, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.